The rifle No. 5 MKI, was a derivative of the British Lee Enfield No. 4 MKI, designed in response to a requirement for a shorter, lighter, rifle for airborne forces in Europe. However most of its operational use was in post-war colonial campaigns such as the Malayan Emergency, where it gained its common nickname of the Jungle Carbine. Production began in March 1944, and finished in December 1947. Military Service The term Jungle Carbine was colloquial and never officially applied by the British Armed Forces, but the rifle No. 5 MKI was informally referred to as the Jungle Carbine by British and Commonwealth troops during World War II and the Malayan Emergency. The No. 5 was about 100 mm shorter and nearly a kilogram lighter than the No. 4 from which it was derived. A number of lightning cuts were made to the receiver body and the barrel, the bolt knob drilled out, woodwork cut down to reduce weight and had other new features like a flash suppressor and a rubber butt pad to help absorb the increased recoil and to prevent slippage on the shooter's clothing while aiming. Unlike modern recoil pads the number 5 butt pad significantly reduced the contact area with the user's shoulder increasing the amount of felt recoil of the firearm. According to official recoil tests the number 4 rifle yielded 10.06 FTLBF, 13.64J, free recoil energy and the number 5 carbine 14.12 FTLBF, 19.14J. Of the number 5 carbine 4.06 FTLBF, 5.50J, extra recoil energy 1.44 FTLBF, 1.95J, was caused by adding the conical flash suppressor. The number 5 iron sight line was also derived from the number 4 marks and featured a rear receiver aperture battle sight calibrated for 300 YD, 274 M, with an additional ladder aperture sight that could be flipped up and was calibrated for 200 800 YD, 183 732M, in 100 YD, 91M, increments. It was used in the Far East and other jungle type environments, hence the Jungle Carbine nickname, and was popular with troops because of its light weight, compared to the SMLE and Lee Enfield No. 4 MKI rifles then in service, and general ease of use, although there were some concerns from troops about the increased recoil due to the lighter weight. Due to the large conical flash suppressor, the No. 5 MKI could only mount the No. 5 blade bayonet, which was also designed to serve as a combat knife if needed. A No. 5 MK2 version, or, more accurately, versions, as several were put forward, of the rifle was proposed, including changes such as strengthening the action to enable grenade firing, and mounting the trigger from the receiver instead of on the trigger guard but none of them was ever put into production and there was subsequently no No. 5 MK2 rifle in service. Similarly, a number of takedown models of No. 5 MKI rifle intended for airborne use were also trialed, but were not put into production. Wandering Zero One of the complaints leveled against the No. 5 MKI rifle by soldiers was that it had a wandering zero i.e., the rifle could not be sighted in and then relied upon to shoot to the same point of impact later on. Tests conducted during the mid to late 1940s appeared to confirm that the rifle did have some accuracy issues, most likely relating to the lightning cuts made in the receiver, combined with the presence of a flash suppressor on the end of the barrel, and the British government officially declared that the jungle carbine's faults were inherent in the design and discontinued production at the end of 1947. However, Modern collectors and shooters have pointed out that no jungle carbine collector slash shooter on any of the prominent internet military firearm collecting forums has reported a confirmed wandering zero on their No. 5 MKI rifle, leading to speculation that the No. 5 MKI may have been phased out largely because the British military did not want a bolt-action rifle when most of the other major militaries were switching over to semi-automatic long arms such as the M1 Garand, SKS, FN model. 1949 and Moss 49. Anecdotal evidence from shooters of military surplus firearms suggests that the wandering zero problem if there is one can be cured by free-floating the barrel and glass bedding the action. Nonetheless, it has also been pointed out by historians and collectors that the number 5 MKI must have had some fault not found with the number 4 Lee Enfield, from which the jungle carbine was derived, 
as the British military continued with manufacture and issue of the Lee Enfield No. 4 Mk2 rifle until 1957, before finally converting to the L1A1 SLR. Post-war non-military conversions Though they did not invent the name, the designation Jungle Carbine was used by the Golden State Arms Corporation in the 1950s and 1960s to market commercially sport terrorist military surplus Lee Enfield rifles under the Santa Fe brand. Golden State Arms Co. imported huge numbers of SMLE Mk3 asterisk and Lee Enfield No. 4 rifles and converted them to civilian versions of the No. 5 MKI and general sporting rifles for the hunting and recreational shooting markets in the U.S., marketing them as Santa Fe Jungle Carbine Rifles and Santa Fe Mountaineer Rifles, amongst other names. This has led to a lot of confusion regarding the identification of actual No. 5 MKI Jungle Carbine Rifles as opposed to the post-war civilian sporting rifles marketed under the same name. The easiest way to identify a jungle carbine rifle is to look for the markings on the left-hand side of the receiver, a genuine No. 5 will have rifle No. 5 MKI electro stenciled there, while a post-war conversion will generally have either no markings or markings from manufacturers who did not make the No. 5 MKI, for example, Savage or Long Branch. Santa Fe Jungle Carbine Rifles are so marked on the barrel. Companies such as the Gibbs Rifle Company and Navy Arms in the U.S. have produced and sold completely rebuilt Enfields of all descriptions, most notably their recent No. 7 Jungle Carbine, made from Ishapur 2A1 rifles, and the Bulldog or Tanker Carbine Rifles, which are also fashioned original SMLE and No. 4 rifles. Type Service Rifle Place of Origin United Kingdom Service history. In service 1944 present. Used by United Kingdom. Commonwealth of Nations. Wars World War II. Korean War. Malayan Emergency. Bougainville Civil War. British post-World War II colonial conflicts. Production history. Designer Royal Ordnance Factory Faye Zocker Lee, Birmingham Small Arms Company. Designed 1944. Produced 1944-1947. No built 251,368 total, 81,329, BSA Shirley, 169,807, ROF Faye Ocker Lee. Specifications. Weight 7 pounds 1 ounce, 3.20 kilograms, unloaded. Length 39.5 in, 1,003 mm. Barrel length 18.8 in, 478 mm. Cartridge .303 MK7 SAA ball. Caliber .303 British. Action bolt action. Rate of fire 20-30 rounds slash minute. Muzzle velocity 2,250 feet slash s, 686 m slash s. Effective firing range 500 YD, 457 M. Maximum firing range 2800 YD, 183732 M. Side adjustments. Feed system 10 round detachable magazine, loaded with 5 round charger clips. Sights flip up rear aperture sights, fixed post front sights. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.